on my way up here to see the uh, snow monkeys in Kyoto. Um, it was about 1,000 yen, 550 yen per person. And uh, the Japanese monkeys are snow monkeys. And they're red in the face. And we're not allowed to do lots of stuff with them. Basically leave them alone. Quite a steep climb, about 20 minutes of hilly walking. Um, and we're in West Kyoto for this. It's one of the things to do here, so I'm sure if you're here and contact the tourist office, you'll get the info. So uh, let's go check out the monkeys. Here we have the uh, monkey gang and monkey family. One's doing a bit of praying there, I think. It's, uh, this way somewhere. Little baby monkey. Of course, the beautiful view of Kyoto, the surrounding mountains. Amazing. Yeah, awesome. And they have these, um, they have these red faces, which are characteristic. And. Um, and the red bums as well. Pretty cool. I, a long time since I've seen monkeys. And there's a lot of them here. Quite fun. Love those cheeky monkeys. Especially the ones on the roof. Oh, there's none on the roof now. There we go. <laughs> the next thing on my bucket list is uh, feed the monkey. There we go, fed a monkey, happy monkey there. It's another happy monkey. <laughs> So what I love about monkeys is that they're fun and cheeky and greedy and all these things that I sometimes are as well. So it's a, it's a reminder that, uh, you know, when I'm being really fearful and uh, greedy and all these very sort of primitive things, I'm being a monkey. I'm being, uh, you know, a monkey brain. So I actually collect different monkeys, uh, fur monkeys. I've got a metal monkey. And uh, yeah, I'm just a big fan of monkeys. And they, they make me laugh, they make me smile. And I'm really glad that today I managed to cross off another thing on my bucket list, which was feed a monkey. So I've done that here in Tokyo, Kyoto, Japan. Kyoto, Japan, not Tokyo. Yeah, getting mixed up here. And uh, as you can see behind me, it's a great thing to do. So uh, yeah, feed a monkey. Check. <laughs>